Hello YouTube, Nelson here. Today I'm going to be covering the mod called Star UI. This is probably one of the best mods out there right now, and you need to have this. Uh, we'll be covering the the manual method of installing this. Uh, won't be going over to the Vortex because I've had some issues with Vortex. But pretty much the overview of the Star UI, it pretty much improves all the inventory screens for PC. It's like a compact display style more details uh sortable columns the item category icons and it has like a bigger scroll bar so in case you do have a lot of items then you can just like grab it and scroll down like it's a lot better than the vanilla one so this also it doesn't have any like uh plugins and so it's in it won't mess with the achievements so if you like having your achievements you won't need the achievement enabler for this. Like it's, it's just UI mod. So it won't be caught as like, Hey, like you're a modern slash cheater or whatever. So you won't get hit with that. All right. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right. So the first thing first, we'll head over to the Nexus mods, right? Where the Starfield uh, or the star UI inventory is at. So here it is and we'll go to files. Obviously I've downloaded it already. I'm going to go ahead and hit manual download and it's going to be, Hey, do the slow or the fast. I'll do the slow option. All right. So go ahead and download it. All right. It's downloaded, right? I've already downloaded it. So go to it. Give me a second. So if we switch over to our downloads, as you know, I like to, so we're going to extract everything, right? So you can use uh seven zip. 7-Zip's a, a free like extraction tool. So we go to extract the files. I like to pre-stage my mods in a certain like folder. So then that I could just like copy over and I can compare what type of files are in there. So we go to the, this is where I've put all my mods, right? So go ahead and put the Starfield mod. Yes. You're gonna, are you going to replace it? No, we're not going to replace it. Right? So. At least for me, I'm not replacing it for you guys. You can extract whatever you want, right? All right. Now we're going to pull up the, hold on. Give me a sec. I'm trying to get the interface. Oh wait, not the interface. Well, you know what? Let's, let's go to the, let's go to the location where we have the mods. All right. So under gaming, I have the mods go into Starfield and then the star UI. All right. So there's a little readme and there's optional in the interface and whatnot. All right. So we're pretty much going to copy these. So this is what we're going to copy and we're going to head over to the pretty much the game folders. So for the steam it's going to be under whatever game drive you have slash steam library, steam apps, common starfield data interface, and then you would paste in here. So I already have the star UI inventory in here. So I'm not going to paste it again. So this would be like the path for the steam version, right? This is how you would find it on your steam library, steam apps, common starfield data interface. All right. Now let me pull up the game pass version. Hold on. Let me switch. I got like 10 different. So for me, this is how it goes. It'd be like under my other drive under gaming or wherever you told Xbox to install it, it would be uh, Starfield content data and then interface. So this is where you would put the interface. And as you see here, I already have the star UI inventory. So I would just go ahead and copy the files that we extracted. So the copies copy these files, the ones that we extracted, right? So we copy these and then we pasted it into the uh, data folder in the interface. All right. So now that we'd have that, the next step is to check our, you're going to check the, hold on, give me a second. I'm pulling it up. We have to check the documents. Okay. So this is where it ends up loading the textures. I know it's really weird. So you're going to go to my documents under my documents. You're going to go to my games and then under my games, there's going to be uh there should be Starfield, right? So go ahead and go to Starfield. I already have a few things in here. Uh, the one file you want to check is the Starfield custom dot I and I, if you don't have this, just go ahead and create it here 
in the documents. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up. All right, so now that it's opened up, there's gonna be one line you're gonna need, and that line for the star UI inventory mod to work is gonna be this, archive invalidate older, foil, older files one, the resource data, right? So I'll go ahead and copy this, put it in the description. And then if you have this, the star UI will work. All right. So now that's that. All right, let's go open up our star field to check out the UI in action. All right, give me a second. It's going to load up. All right, we're going to continue. All we're doing is looking at the inventory. All right, give it a second. It's going. Come on, it's got to be a little bit faster, right? <laughs> okay, now that that's loaded, we'll go ahead and check it. So here it is, the star UI mod. Um, this is how it has like the inventory, right? And it's all compact, neat, and it has it's all sorted out. As ammo type, volume, mass, you know, all that good stuff, right? It'll show the count, the value, even for the aid, you know. So it looks pretty good. Uh, this is one mod that you should install. It'll make the pretty much the quality of life of Starfield a lot better for you, and it makes it easier to manage your inventory as opposed to before. But yeah, well, I'm Yasuneri. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. And y'all have a great day.